Welcome to today's vlog. Um, hang on a second. I'm really having a lot of re-entry problems as we start this new term. Trying to get to bed at a decent time, or at least get to sleep at a decent time. And then get up uh, and take the kids to school. I'm still not with it. Anyway, this time last year, I, well, about 18 months ago really, I recorded this video for my Patreon page. Hi, I'm Dan Forshaw and I'm really passionate about creating great music. Last summer, on my summer holiday, I read this fantastic book by Amanda Palmer called The Art of Asking. Now, musicians have always needed patrons. Bach had the church, Mozart, Beethoven and Haydn had the royal families of Europe. For the last 80 years, musicians have had record companies. But that model's dying off, and that's what Amanda Palmer talks about in her book. And it can be increasingly a great close relationship between the creator and the audience. Well, do you know what? I want to bring the gigs to you. I want you to be able to sit down in front of your TV and be able to watch an innovative gig from this room. I want to invite musicians into this room to be able to create music that you've requested as one of our patrons. Now the thing is, a lot of that still rings true. I still want to create this live lounge in here. I, by the way, I'm still on, I'm on the G7X today. I'm not on the 60D. Uh, that has been for repair. It needs a new SD card bay. So that's not cheap either, um, which is not, it's not the reason I'm starting Patreon up again. But I, I've, I've decided I really, in 2018, I really want to give Patreon a really good go. And it kind of answers some of the questions that I've had come in about CambridgeSaxophone.com, my teaching website, and a few other things. And what I wanted to do today was just start you off. I'm going to put three things on to... Um, no, two things. Let's do two things on the Patreon page today. The first one is on my Jazz Vespers recording, we actually recorded a load of extra material that we didn't have the time or the budget to mix down with. What I want to do, and you will see them on the pledge things on the Patreon page, is I want to get those mixed down and released. But I want to, I'm going to post two things. I'm going to post one thing to get them released digitally. And then for the hardcore people, I'm going to post how much it costs to get it done on vinyl. And so if you really want to hear that on vinyl, if enough, whichever one comes first, so if enough vinyl heads go in and, and, and kind of make the vinyl the top one, the album will only be released on vinyl and that will be it. I will not do a, a digital release as such. But I want to get that material out there. There's some really good stuff we recorded later on uh, as a quartet and I'd really like to get that out. And there's also um, the Abide With Me you heard on the topping video. Um, that is on there as well and that needs probably mixing down because I just did that in here. So the other thing I want to do is use some of the courses I've got on Cambridge Saxophone as uh, material that you can access via Patreon. I'm not going to give you access to the full site, you know, Cambridge Saxophone is still going to be the main place if you want to study with me, that's the place to go. But I'm going to give on my Patreon page some of the courses I've already recorded and some other extra, extra new stuff um, as a kind of thank you to my patrons and a way in kind of to what I'm, I've done with Cambridge Saxophone. So, you know, if you thought about it, but, you know, maybe that's a little bit high, uh, for what for what you wanted to pay in the past, then there's going to be a way in there. So I don't know how well this is going to sound on this G7X versus what I have on the um, when I'm using the DSLR. Anyway. I wanted to very quickly, um, I've been working with students and I've just put it on the Patreon page. So if you want to take one of my transcription courses really cheaply, head over to the Patreon page, you can take it there. Um, but looking at this uh, opening of the Blue 7 solo by Sonny Rollins, we did it about a year ago with my students. <laughs> is um, an augmented triad and it's one of the things that I noticed on the video if you watch them on Patreon you'll know that when I first do that it's very easy to play an E flat major arpeggio because you're so used to playing the majors so it's a good way to practice 
um, playing augmented and this little exercise it's dead simple but it's really really effective and the first thing to do is get your metronome and play first of all the augmented trial and it's just a trial not the seventh and E flat I'm gonna do <laughs> Flatten that fifth down to B flat, make it a major arpeggio. I'm spinning up for the sake of time. And then the minor arpeggio. So, what we do there is I was taking E flat augmented, E flat G, B natural E flat. Okay, and then I've flattened the fifth to make it B flat. Excuse me, the major arpeggio, then flatten the third to give me the minor. And then I flatten the E flat to D, which then gives me D augmented. Leave the other two notes the same, okay? And you just keep going down that, that system, changing each note one at a time, and then you end up being able to play the augmented, the major, and the minor triads. It's a great way of practicing it. A little bit of mental gymnastics as you go around. Of course, it's reliant on you knowing your 12 major, uh, major and minor and augmented um, arpeggios. But augmented are certainly ones that are not kind of... They're not in the exam syllabuses for most... Um, exam boards so they don't tend to get practice as much as they should do. Are you off at a slight angle there by the way? I don't think you'll see any more vlogs until I get my DSLR back. It's so difficult to be able to get uh, a decent frame shot without that wide angle lens. Anyway, let's do a very, very quick q and I haven't done one this year and a few questions have been coming in. Question actually from Facebook first. I kind of spent it out across the um, social channels yesterday. Uh, Norman Wilmore said to me, asked me, sorry, what saxophonist would you say you've got the most jazz language from? Um, difficult question because I've tried to take a lot from a lot of different players and especially the guys I listen to and buy off a lot. If you were to sort of ask me and pin me down who have I transcribed the most, um, I would say definitely people like Lester Young, Coleman Hawkins, um, Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, Stan Getz, um, modern players, people like Bramford and Joshua Redman. But Eric Alexander, I know I've got quite a lot of Eric's playing because Eric's a very precise player and um, he does teach a lot of um, melodic devices to do and I've kind of, I did the homework that he gave me and so th there's quite a bit of Eric's language and Eric has quite a lot of George Coleman in him. So there's kind of, I guess there's bits of George Coleman that come through that. But I've tried to sound like myself as much as I can um, but well aware that I, I need to learn more and keep transcribing and keep working on it. Do you ever play the Daddario Select Jazz Mouthpiece anymore? Yes, I do. I don't play it. I mean, I was playing it on this video. I don't play it all the time. I found that I like the Daddario on the Yanagasawa, and it's still good on the on the Mark VI. But I find that the link is just kind of gives me the sound that I want out of the Mark VI. And I changed that link over. I was playing on a hard rubber link, which uh, if you watch uh, this video, uh, you'll see what happened to that hard rubber link when it broke. Simon says to me, um, "The soprano sax, fantastic playlist. Got me picking up my soprano again. Thank you for your efforts, Simon." Thank you for my best message so far of 2018. That is just what I want to hear. The fact that you've got the playlist, it's encouraged you, it's inspired you to pick up the saxophone again or pick up your soprano again, then as far as I'm concerned, job done. I've, I've, I've got to, I feel like I've done my work on this channel today.
get the rest of your figures up. Um, it's going to be more like other things for the one of my girls. Right, your whites, you go first. That's it. I know, he's the one of them. So that's just about all I've got time for in today's vlog. Please go and check out Patreon. I really, just go and have a look at it, see what you think. It would be great. Uh, I've given an option there for people who want to have some saxophone lessons. There's an option, of course, there. I'd love to get that um, album out at some point, that EP. I'd love to do it on vinyl, but we need a few, a few, a lot of supporters, I should say, in order to print it on vinyl. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you check out what I was doing in my last vlog here. This is what I was doing this time last year. Hit that subscribe button. We're so near to 5,000. It's amazing. Thank you so much. I will see you very, very soon.